All right, so what we have is 120 volt alternating current to 24 volt alternating current 40 VA transformer. It's installed in a heating system. How many zone valves can be operated by one transformer given the fact that a zone valve requires 0.32 amps to operate? So what we have here is your transformer. Now it has two parts. This side, as you can see by this arrow, that's the primary side. That's the incoming voltage or the line voltage. That's 120 volts. What we got coming out the other side is what we call the secondary side, and that's your 24 volts. So this is what we refer to as a step-down transformer. We're stepping down from 120 down to 24 volts. Now the power rating, or what it's classified as, is a 40 VA transformer. 40 is your power, or 40 is your watts. And what that's equal to is volts times amps. Now, we rate transformers on the secondary side, and the secondary side of this transformer is 24 volts. So 40 is equal to the volts. The volts is 24 times the amps. From that, we can come down here, rework the equation. The amps is equal to the power, or watts, divided by the volts. And what we end up with is that on the secondary side, the output of this 40 VA transformer is 1.67 amps. Now, the idea here is, okay, that's what we have to work with. How many zone valves can we operate if each of the zone valves requires 0.32 amps to operate? And simply, it should take what you have, your 1.67 amps, or what, what the transformer produces on the secondary side, and divide it by how many amps it takes to run a zone valve. What we end up with is 5.2. Now, in all reality, of course, you'd bump this down to five because you can't operate 0.2, but you'll see in the heating trade, what heating guys will do is they won't put five on there. They'll actually put four on there and give the transformer a little bit of space to breathe and operate. All right, there you go. There's your 40VA transformer.